Good morning. <laughs> I'm still sick. <clears throat> that was why I took <clears throat> yesterday off from filming. Um, because I just sound insane. But I didn't want to go too long between posting, so hopefully you can bear with me and my now cold sore and my sickly voice. <sighs> Luckily, it's definitely on its way out. I feel like we're rounding the corner of starting to feel better. So usually when I get sick towards the end and the beginning of my sickness, like when my body is really starting to like fight something, I'll get like little cold sores. So I'm hoping that this cold sore is a sign that it's on its way out, but uh, I'm ready to be able to fully breathe out of my nose. Again, my lips are so chapped. <laughs> but other than that, I hope everybody's having a good week so far. It's Wednesday today. I wanted to ask you guys um, about vitamins. Now, a while ago, um, I was religiously taking the one a day chewy vitamins. Um, the ones that I had came in like a um, orange bottle. They were like citrusy flavored. Um, and when I ran out of those, I told myself I was going to switch to a prenatal vitamin instead of a multivitamin. Um, because a while ago, my OB had told me that every woman, no matter if you're trying to get pregnant, are pregnant, you know, are done having babies, like no matter what, every woman just for our health should be on a um, prenatal multivitamin. Um, and so I was going to switch to a prenatal um, rather than getting another multivitamin. And I just never did. Um, and recently, my hair, I think I talked about this a while ago, a few videos back too, but my hair has just been, you know, I thought it was thin before. It is coming out in chunks. It is so insanely thin. Um, and I truly think it's because I'm not having my vitamins and it's, and I put together the connection last night that it's gotten a lot worse. Um, since I haven't been taking any vitamins the last few months. And I remember when I had my bariatric surgery done, how they explained, you know, how incredibly important it is, you know, to take your vitamins daily anyway, but especially when you're losing weight. Um, and especially when you've had like bariatric surgery because your body can't absorb things correctly anymore. Um, but mainly because your body is losing weight so rapidly, um, and, you know, 85 pounds in, what are we in, almost 10 months, um, is pretty rapidly. So, I have a feeling that that's what's going on, um, yeah. So, I need to get back on some vitamins, and I'm just curious... Um, if any of you guys take any prenatals that you like, I'm not really good at taking anything that is, um, like a drink. I would rather have it be like a gummy, like a chewable or just a pill. Um, and I'd rather not have to take like a bunch of different ones. Um, so let me know your recommendations and what you think is the best. I need to save the three strands of hair that I have left. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing my research on some good brands 
uh, prenatal wise for like hair strengthening and nail strengthening and all that stuff. Luckily my nails are in pretty good shape. Um, I've never had like a huge, huge issues with my nails. Um, but my hair, like I said, it's always been thin, but this is like problematic thin. Like I am rapidly losing hair and rapidly thinning. Um, so yeah. Any suggestions would be greatly appreciated and this is your reminder if you're also on a health journey to take your vitamins or take any pills or medication that you have here's your reminder and if you're not taking any here's your reminder to start taking some you're welcome <laughs> um, I really liked the one a days I mean I never had an issue with it but it's not a prenatal and you don't need a um, multivitamin if you're taking a prenatal because it takes the you know job of the multivitamin so you know that's the only real reason, reason that's the only real reason I would be switching from that one a day a multi like woman's multivitamin is because my doctor said hey get your ass on a prenatal so finally going to take her advice a long time later <laughs> and get on one. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing one of those um, like subscriptions like where you go online and like take a test for which vitamins would like benefit your body and like all of that type of stuff so maybe I'll do that and see what comes up if any of you are on any of those also and they get like sent to your house monthly uh, let me know I might give that a try too because you can like take a quiz that like you know like, do you need help in your nails do you need help in your hair do you need this do you need that are you trying to get pregnant you know all that stuff and then they supposedly make a um, pack that is for what your current body needs so maybe I'll give that a try but yeah so I am really really trying to um, stick to my eating even though I'm sick I haven't been doing too bad um, I stepped on the scale this morning and I think I was at 221.4 um, so I'm not doing too terribly. I, oh, I made a new recipe, um, this week. I don't have it with me today. I just have leftovers from last night with me today because I need it to be eaten. Um, but it's actually really freaking good. I love cottage cheese. I know a lot of people don't necessarily love it. I love it. Um, but for those of you who don't love it, if you blend it and mix it with other things, it disguises it so well, but you still get all of the benefits of the protein from the cottage cheese. So, on um, one of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of, it's like a Monjaro Zip Bound Recipe Facebook group, someone shared this um, high protein Alfredo pasta. Um, that they had for lunch and I was like oh that sounds so good so it's protein pasta um, cottage cheese to make a homemade alfredo sauce so it's cottage cheese milk which I use the Fairlife milk which has like 19 grams of protein in it too so milk garlic salt pepper and Parmesan cheese and you blend it all until it's completely smooth um, I didn't like simmer it or thicken it up or put any like cornstarch in you can do that to make it like a thick thick sauce um, but I just mix it all together blend it all up in the blender until it was smooth and then put it in the fridge overnight um, and that thickened it up enough for my liking anyway and then you just pour it over your protein pasta, add in some broccoli. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I personally think I put a little bit too much garlic in. Mine is like pretty garlicky, um, but it, it tastes like Alfredo. 
Like, it's really good. Um, and my husband does not like, um, my brain. Oh, my husband does not like cottage cheese at all. Like, at, at all, at all. Um, and I made him taste it a few times because the first time he tasted it, he said, uh, and I was like, you're lying. Like, you're literally saying that because you know it has cottage cheese in it, not because it tastes bad. And then he tried it another, like, two or three times, and he was like, all right, yeah, this is good. So, if you ever need to sneak cottage cheese into something, just blend it up. Blend it up. You won't even know it's there. I promise. It's really good. I, I... I would be curious to know if I blended up cottage cheese more and put it into other random things if like my husband would even notice like if I didn't say anything um, because that's how like disguised it is you literally cannot tell so you guys should give it a try especially if you're a cottage cheese hater I want to know if that would sway your opinion on cottage cheese um, but yeah, super creamy, super delicious, not bad. Um, I followed her measurements, but then I also kind of tweaked it as far as like the salt and pepper goes, um, and the amount of cheese that I used, I tweaked it to like what I wanted. Um, but it, it's a pretty protein packed meal. You got the protein from the protein pasta, the cottage cheese, and in my case, I used the Fairlife milk, so... I'm, I'm happy with how, um, with how it tasted, how it went. I will say, doing it every day, um, oh, and I added chicken. I should have mentioned that. She added, um, sausage to hers, I think, like, um, I don't remember what kind of sausage, but she added sausage to hers, like, uh, kielbasa. I added rotisserie chickens. That's even more. Um, I do feel like, because I do my lunches um, weekly, so like my lunch doesn't typically change every day for the week, um, just because it's easier for me to like meal prep in big batches that way. I do think that it is too heavy to have for the entire week, um, which is why I'm having leftovers today also but I do think that that will be a new added dinner meal to our um, rotation probably not as like an everyday lunch again though um, just because it is obviously heavy I'm trying to think if I've done any other new recipes lately not like that I don't think I really truly like cycle through the same <laughs> recipes almost every day or every week I you know sometimes I'll try something new kind of like I you know did this week for lunch but other than that I genuinely don't think I've had a new recipe in quite some time so let me know what your favorite recipes are if you guys have like go-to weekly recipes I always am down to try new things I just never never really do. I'm kind of stuck on lunches again, which is why I wanted to try that lunch because I kind of was just like sick of, you know, I've done like tuna sandwiches recently. Um, you know, the chicken and, um, tzatziki. Um, I've been doing like a lot of salads, lunchable type things with just like crackers, cheese. Um, so I'm needing, I'm needing some new ideas for lunch to keep me like engaged and full. I have been doing like a different breakfast, which I think I showed you guys, um, earlier this week, but that was like a tortilla, turkey, cheese, avocado, and an egg. I really try so hard to like avocado and I just... I don't, I just don't love it, love it, um, I, yeah, I, I try really hard, I really do, I have to be, like, in, in the mood for avocado, 
um, and that's not super, super often, but I know it's so good for you to have that, like, I try to include it in things. Um, I don't mind avocado chunks, like, slices, um, I feel like I can handle that better than, like, the avocado, like, like, mushed up, um, but I also... always pick avocados that are not ripe when I need them and then by the time I need them they're like overly ripe so I always try to just get the containers of the pre-mashed avocados um because like I know they'll be fine yeah first world problems I know <laughs> but I'm just rambling now so let me know what your favorite um vitamin to take is uh, prenatal and I will look into it because your girl needs to get on some before I lose all of my hair um, and to protect these crazy not sure if they're working ovaries inside this body so hope everybody has a great Wednesday sorry my voice still sounds like this <clears throat> hopefully I will see you tomorrow